with us? She can't. She's ill. Come on. that thing? They were only playing. They didn't mean to upset you. They could have drowned. Children are all the same. No matter what they say, they never listen. Well, they've got to learn. Can I be asleep when I'm talking to you? You mustn't get up. Why not? Mommy, it's your bearing me again. That's why. That's never been there before. Thanks. 
And fruit and tarts? I begin to eat them. Of course. What else would they do with them? Why didn't they eat your worms? They're not hungry. Not hungry? Why not? They eat whatever they want to. Every day? So I'm told. Will they eat them all? Will they give any away? Perhaps they give them to us. They don't know what. They've got two each. Three, four. I've got twelve. I've got two times twelve. Give me some. What's the matter? We better go home. Why? Come on. We don't belong here. It's cold. It's cold. Feels like cold. So am I. This is not for us. They're asleep. Come on. Why not? Because it's mine. Well, that's a, a, a reason, I suppose. Where is this bird? In the cage. No, 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 no. It's not blue enough. You must find me the one I want. Well, we don't know where it is. Well, no more do I. That's why you must find me the one I want. I must have the bluebird. It's for a little girl who's very ill. What's the matter with her? Well, we're, we're not quite sure. She wants to be happy. Come along at once. You must go at once. Come along at once. Yes, why not? Why not? We're supposed to be in bed. Then what were you doing outside? Playing teaching cakes. Cakes? Cakes? Have you any cakes? Where are they? Where are these cakes? What's cakes? Where are they? In the rich children's house. Come and look. But it was the others who were eating? Mm -hmm. Yes, but we could see the beets. And it's so beautiful over there. Ha! It's no more beautiful over there than here. It's darker here and smaller. And there aren't any cakes. It's exactly the same. You just can't see. I can see. I've got very good eyes. I can see the time on the church clock, and Daddy can't. But I tell you, you can't see. Can you see me? How do I look? Well, answer me, young man. Am I old or young? Am I ugly or pretty? Huh? Perhaps you think I have a hump on my back, huh? Well, do you? A hump? Oh, no. Well, not a very big one. And my dress. Do you see how it glitters and shimmers? Do you see all the precious stones and the jewels? Hmm? It's quite pretty, yes. Pretty? Quite pretty? Is that all you can say? There's some people who can't see how beautiful it is. But you're not like that, are you? You're not blind and foolish. Oh, no, I can see all that isn't hidden. Luckily, I always carry with me the one thing the cat can do light to human eyes. 
that shining on the front? It's the big diamond that makes people see. How? Well, when you put it on your head and you turn the diamond from right to left like this, it presses a bump that nobody knows of and opens your eyes. But does it hurt? No, no, of course not, you silly thing. It's enchanted. When you have the diamond on, you can even see into the inside of things. The soul of bread, for instance, and of, of milk and of water. Can you see the soul of sugar, too? Well, of course you can, you silly thing. The soul of sugar is no more important than the soul of water. There. I give you... All I have to help you in your search to find the bluebird. Take it, Till Till. It's curious and practical and quite noiseless. Thank you. Put it on, Till Till. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then the diamond, the tail tail. <laughs> <laughs> makes men see the world's all lapis lazuli. The simplest wooden cabins made of jasper, emerald, and jade. A table of plain humdrum pine suddenly seems crystalline, and all the simple oaken chairs sparkle like huge solitaires. Lift the veil. Shake off the mist. Near Brick and mortis, amethyst. I am the light that makes men see the radiance in reality. Let's see, just one sparkling flash. And I'm freed from a life of smoke and ash. Your distance stay right there. Silky soul, 
Us big milk. <laughs> How do you do? Bread is the name. Man's oldest friend. Nonsense. And the, man's oldest friend and most faithful companion. Without me, he'd be just a lump of dough. Without me, he'd be uh, just a bag of flour. I'm man's oldest friend. What is kind to human beings? What about those you drown? Don't be ridiculous. And now, my dear child, this one's for you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Now I hear, I'll make you all sweet and kind and cordial. You must be sugar. Indeed, I am sweet child. Hello, Candy. Chilter. Here, Tylo, have some candy. Talk. At last. Tylo. I bark and wag my tail, but you never really understood. But now, we can talk. I'm so happy. So very happy. Huh? <laughs> can I do some tricks, shall I? I stand on my front paws, dance on my hind legs. <laughs> Stop making such a fool of yourself, Tylo. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It's the solo time. Go and kiss her. I want to kiss everyone. <laughs> Oh, what fun we're going to have. Oh, I must kiss you again, little master. What are you doing up this time? Why, why aren't you in bed? We're going to look for the bluebird. You can't do that. Why not? Well, it, 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 it's dangerous. Dangerous. Stay here, then, if you're afraid. We're going, aren't we, master? We're going. I'll be good and useful and dig and bark. And now we're off to seek and find the precious secret for mankind. One of these avenues leads to the Blue Adventure. Choose. Be determined. Brace your heart. Your journey is about to start. No. Not that one. Go that way. Don't forget the birdcage. Oh, I'm in charge of that. No, no, you must stay here. The children are going to visit the grandparents, and we have not been invited. Where are we going? To the land of memory. There's a possibility that the bluebird is hidden someplace in the past. You'll see your grandmother and your grandfather. There in the mists of time. Listen to me. Consider our fate and the destiny of our children. All of us here, animals, things, elements, all of us possess a soul that man does not yet know. That is why we still have some kind of independence. But if he finds the bluebird, he will know all, he will see all, and we will be completely at his mercy. Dear me, how very alarming. <sighs> You gotta fix it so they never find the bluebird. We've got to stop them. Don't be ridiculous. We can't do that. Why not? We must obey man. We must do what he tells us. That's no answer. Give us reasons. 
There are no reasons. I love man. That's enough. Hurrah for man! Man forever! You do one thing against him, I'll throttle you first and go and tell him everything. Hurry back. Turn the diamond when you see them. Goodbye. Grandma and Grandpa. Perhaps she was wrong. Matthew, look. Don't you recognize it? I don't know. I can't remember. Yes, I can. It's Grandpa's cottage. How pretty you look. Come, come and give us a kiss. <laughs> mm. Mm. How sweet you smell. Mm. <laughs> kiss me again, kiss me again. And what about me? Come kiss your old grandfather. <laughs> and how's your mummy and daddy? Are they all right? Well, well, they were asleep when we came out. Oh. You haven't changed a bit, Grandpa. Not a bit. Neither is Grandma. Oh, we stopped growing older, that's why. What about you? Come, let's take a look at you. Come along to the mark on the door where we measured you last time. Come along now. Let's see how much taller you have grown. That's the spot. Stand straight. That's right. Four fingers. My, how you've enlarged. Come along, you now. Four and a half. Oh, you are enlarged. My, how you've grown. Oh, if only you'd come and see us more up here. Always here, you know, waiting for a visit from those who are alive. Every time you think of us, we wake up and see you again. I mean, it's enough just to think. But didn't you know that? No. The living, they never learn anything. Do you sleep all the time? Yes, it's good to sleep when life is done. Hmm, it's good to wake up sometimes, too. Let's see your stockings, still, too. Any else to do? No. Oh, nothing. What a shame. I used to do all the sewing once upon a time, you know. Yes, I remember. Remember my apple tarts <laughs> and the cabbage soup? <laughs> I always ate too much. He always made himself sick. So he did, so he did. <laughs> yeah, would you like some now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Come along then. There you are. Oh, oh. Oh. How good it smells. Not as good as the soup I used to make, though. Nothing's as good as it used to be. It's all too easy. When you've been a mother and a housewife, paradise is too like Sunday to be true. It's not bad at all, this heaven, but it's not quite life. How can it be? With nothing to do. When you've been a woodman and a father, working hard to keep your children and your wife, it's all right a while this resting, but I'd rather spend well some of the time. Back in life 
honestly, I'd sooner I was spending at least some of my eternity in mending. In raking, hatching, thatching, baking, absolutely, absolutely any, any old charm. But, but they, they won't, won't let us work here anymore. Oh, this is good. I want some more. Oh, now look what you've done. There. You waved yourself. Didn't I tell you? There's one for you. That's just like the slaps you used to give me when you were alive. <laughs> but you're quite right. Nothing has changed. Not even your manner. That's about the best old thing. As soon as you think of it, there he is. What do you think, Grandpa? Yes, take him. We never hear him sing anymore. He does nothing but sleep. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, dear Grandpa. Mind you, I won't answer for that bird. I'm afraid he'd come flying back here with the first wind that blows this way. We'll take great care of him. Was anyone thinking of the time? That clock never works. Yes, I was. That explains it. We never think of the time. <laughs> never. <laughs> Well, we promised light we wouldn't stay long. The living, they never stay still a minute. Well, they'll have to go if they promise, Grandpa. Always rushing here and there. Goodbye, Mildred. Come back and see us soon. We will. We will. Goodbye, Grandpa. Thank you for the bluebird. Come back again. <laughs> it's such a treat when your thoughts visit us. Goodbye. 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 I hope that bird's the right color. She's no longer blue. She's turned black. Better let her go. Grandpa said she'd fly home. Goodbye, little black bird. I'm sorry you won't blue. When you think you see no flash of blue, let the world that waits and listens hear your blue halloo. Halloo. The blue halloo. 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 Halloo.
How strange it looks. All the secrets of life are to be found there. Night is their guardian. Oh, hurry up. We mustn't lose her. Stop, Tilda. Stop. I can't go any further. What is it? What's the matter? It's night. I'm losing my strength. Go on without me. Without you? I, I must stay here. I must wait until dawn. Why can't we stay too? You must go on. And I cannot prevent man from opening the doors to her secrets. Don't be afraid. Don't let her frighten you. Open every door. of the end. I fear there's nothing can be done. Why? What's happened? Kilto, the woodcutter's son, is coming here to demand the bluebird of you. Well, he hasn't got her yet. He'll have her soon, unless we perform miracles. Oh, what times we live in. I don't understand, man, these last few years. What are they trying to do? Must they know everything? Yes, I know. Times are hard. And we're almost alone in our struggle against man. I hear them coming. There's only one thing we can do. Since they are children, we must give them such a fright that they won't dare open all the doors. What a good idea. Scare them, Madam Knight. Terrify them. Use all the powers of darkness. This way, little master. This way. What have you been doing? I've told Madam Knight that you're coming, and she'll be delighted to see you. How gracious, how charming. Oh. Good day, Mrs. Knight. Good day. I'm not used to that. You might say good night, or at the very least, good evening. Are those your two children? Yes. This one's name is Sleep. Who's that other one hiding her face? She is Sleep's sister. It's best not to mention her name. Why? Because it's death. Well, the cat tells me that you've come to look for the bluebird. Yes, and he says we're here. I'm afraid I don't know, dear. Knight said she was here, and Knight knows what she's saying. Could we have your keys? My keys? So that we could look. <laughs> Try to understand, dear. I cannot give my keys to the first comer. I am in charge of all nature's secrets. I am responsible for them. And I am absolutely forbidden to give my keys to just anyone. Especially a child. You've no right to refuse them to man when he asks you for them. I know that. Who told you? Light. Light! Light again! How dare she interfere! Let me snatch the keys from her. I'll get them. I'll get them. Ah! 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 Keep quiet and behave yourself. Give me the keys, please. Have you the sign? Behold the diamond. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here is the key. But if anything should happen, you have only yourselves to blame. I will not be answerable. Follow me. Madam Knight, my great age, my experience, my devotion make me the natural protector of these two children. Therefore, Madam Knight, permit me to ask you a question. Certainly. In case of danger, which is the quickest way out? There is no way out. No escape. Come. All of the evils and all the terrors are locked within these basalt caves. All the plagues and sicknesses. All of the catastrophes and all the mysteries that have afflicted life since the beginning of the world. Many of them are giants, ruthless and cruel. Creatures without eyes. Afraid of man. All of my secrets lie before you. Open the doors if you dare. Light said we must look, and that's what I'm going to do. How cold it is. It will get worse presently if you go on. What's behind this door? That one? You see, that's. Those are the ghosts. I'm going to curdle. The lock's rusted. It's been a long time since they've come out. I, I, I'm not frightened. Don't you think it'd be better to beat through the keyhole first? Get ready with the cage, Tylo. <laughs> since man stopped taking them seriously. Help me, drive them back! Come on, fast! Shoot, 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 shoot! I know you're only allowed out on Halloween. What about this one? Take care, Tazoo. That's the most dangerous place in my palace. Listen. Terrible, bloodthirsty monsters. The wars. Man knows them well. Let's not go there. Please, not there. No, no, certainly not. I told Light I'd look everywhere. Yes, but it is dangerous. Let him go if he wants to. I cannot refuse him, no matter how stupid it may be. Oh, beware, Tilthu. You know what will happen if one of them should escape and show himself on Earth. Please be careful.
can't. Please don't do. No. No, Tiltu, you must not open this one. Why not? Yes, do her. Please do as she says. You are young and innocent. I like you. I feel pity for you. Oh, Tiltu, you've seen some of the horrors, some of the dreadful things that man can imagine. Behind this door are the unimaginable horrors. No one who has ever opened this door has lived to see the light of day. What's it called? It's called the pit. Yes, the bottomless pit. I must. Take pity on us. Don't do it. I beg you on my knees. Light's trying to save you. Listen to her. No, Tilto, don't. Please don't. I must. Very well, open it then. Risk your own lives if you will. Wait! Wait for me! Run quickly! Run for your life! I'm not afraid, little master. I'll stay with you. I'll stay. Boy, Kylo, brave boy, I'll come soon. I'll come.
Why have they died? What did we do to them? They're not real birds, Tilltil. Can't you see that? But they were flying. We saw them. They were so beautiful. They're just dream birds, darling. They're not real. Come on. Leave them here. They'll disappear in the sunlight. you all the things you like best, everything you like. Come with me. Who is she? We'll ride together. Don't be afraid. What about light? Come with me and you'll have a white stallion of your very own. What a fine horseman you'll make. I was looking for the bluebird. <laughs> that can wait. <laughs> You go. I don't know. She didn't ask me. Food, everyone! Oh, food! Oh, oh, wait for me! Yes, 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 shouldn't we stop them? Let them go.
handsome young friend. His name is Tiltil. How do you do? He's been searching for the bluebird. <laughs> Luxuries on earth. <laughs> dear, dear, you see that man? Who is he? That's the luxury of being rich. <laughs> of loving oneself. The most enduring pleasure is to be satisfied with oneself. Tilted over there. The most highly respected couple. The luxury of knowing nothing. Nothing. And the luxury of understanding nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Marvelous, aren't they? <laughs> the luxury of eating when you're not hungry. The luxury of drinking when you're not thirsty. Of doing nothing. What does everyone do all day? Do? Well, we, we occupy ourselves incessantly doing nothing. We never get a moment's rest. We must eat, we must drink, we must sleep, or it's almost engrossing. And is it fun? Fun? Well, of course it is. That's all there is on this earth. Which one are you? Which one? Which one of the luxuries? That you'll know when you grow a little bit older. you were such a brave little girl. I'm not afraid. What then? I don't do anything wrong. <laughs> Tiltil, we didn't know where you'd gone.
best thing in the whole world. The French bread, of course. I've never seen anything like it. How crusty they are. Oh, yum and fresh. Ah, oh, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Don't you recognize your mother's love when you see it? You're right, Mommy, yes. But much prettier. Oh, at home, perhaps. Sometimes it doesn't show. But here you see everything, and it is the truth. Your dress, how rich it is. All mothers are rich when they love their children. Yes, it's you. Now I see. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. And there's the wedding ring you always wear. Yes. And there's the burn you got lighting the fire. How soft your hands are. How white. And your voice is so gentle. Oh, at home, there's too much to do and no time. I wonder if you'll know me in my old everyday dress when you come back to the cottage. But I don't want to go back to the cottage. Why can't we stay here with you? But I'm with you wherever you are. You came here only to realize and to know how to see me when you see me at home. But it's so beautiful here. Please let us stay. There. There she is. You, you must hurry. Oh, I love you. Go on. Go on, little one. You must hurry. Keeping him away. Bribe him. 
<laughs> That's impossible. Oh. <laughs> Master, I'm so happy to see you. What are you doing here? I ran ahead to announce your arrival. Oh, we'll get the bluebird this time, I'm sure. Have you seen her? Uh, no, but I've asked the trees to help us. They want to talk to you. Turn the diamond, Tilta. The trees will help you. Turn the diamond. At last, we're able to talk to men. At last, we've done with silence, do you hear? Done with it! Oh, we can talk. Theo is leaving his palace. Bluebird! Stand back. But it's a bluebird. Stay where you are. We know why you want this bird, Tilto. We know that you've been searching for the great secret of things and of happiness. So that man may make our servitude still harder. No, sir. It's for the little girl who's ill. Silence. Silence. Oh, Don't talk to him like that, you dirty old cripple. Oh, oh, oh. Behave yourself. Oh. Get down. What are you doing? I must kiss you now that you've beaten me. That'll do. You'd better tie him up. Tie him up? What with? Ivy should be strong enough. What am I to do? Obey the Ivy. Let her bind you. What have you been whispering about? What are you plotting? Straight off! Oh. <laughs> Silence, Kyle. Behave yourself. Danger, little master. Danger. 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 They mean to harm you. Must oh, protect. Yes. Stay where you are. Yes, Stay where you are. This is the first time that we have been able to judge man and to make him feel our power. Look at us. The victims of the most monstrous crimes that have for centuries been unavenged. Look into the souls of those who have so cruelly tormented. But I've never been cruel to anyone. Not you, perhaps, but man, your father. No! Kill! 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 They were here for the hour of their birth, when time himself comes to take them to their mothers and fathers. Of course, there are many war halls like this, all full of different kinds of children. 
Enough to last until the end of the world. May I talk to them? Of course. I'll let you be alone for a while. You'll probably be more at ease. Look at my invention. Look at this. Look at my invention. What is it? Something to give happiness. How does it work? I'm not too sure. But I'll have it ready by the time I'm born. When will that be? In 53 years, four months and nine days. Have you invented something too? Yes. We're not allowed to leave here empty-handed. We must all take something with us to Earth. Here, you see. 33 remedies for prolonging life. How very clever. Yes, I shall be extremely important and invent all sorts of things for the king of the nine planets. The king of the nine planets? Is that him? Hello. <laughs> he said one day he'll found the general confederation of the solar planets. They'll all belong to it. Except Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, in which are at a preposterous and enormous distance. You mean all that'll be one great empire? Not an empire. An independent union. Harmonious and free. You see that one over there? The one who's fast asleep? What? He'll also discover the treasures hidden on the moon. This one will bring pure joy to all mankind. How? With ideas that no one's had yet. Come along. Is he blind? Not yet, but he will become so. It seems he's to conquer death. What does that mean? I don't exactly know. Me too. Tilda. Hello. How are you? You know our name. Well, of course. I'll soon be your brother. What? When? Next year, on the 30th of June. They only just told me you were here. You won't tease me too much when I'm little, will you? They had to tell Daddy to mend the cradle. Where's your invention? I haven't got one. I'm bringing three illnesses instead. Scarletina, whooping cough, and measles. Three? What then? Then I shall leave you. It's hardly worthwhile coming. You can't pick and choose. <laughs> Remember, there are far too many of you as usual. Run along, run along. One at a time, one at a time. There we are. Hurry up, hurry. You must have all your inventions ready. You know the rules. Next, what are you going to be? A farmer, sir. A farmer. Very good, very useful. Next. Run along. What are you? A politician. So many politicians these days. What is needed on earth is one honest man, just one as a phenomenon. Run along. What are you? An honest man, sir. <laughs> A pretty poor specimen by the look of it. Run along, run along. Well, come on, come on. What's the matter? I forgot my box. Box, box. With my crimes. With the two crimes you're going to commit? Well, run and fetch them. Hurry. Goodbye. Your mothers are waiting for you. You'll be seeing them soon. That's the third time you've tried to be born before your time. If I catch you at it again, you'll have to wait forever with my sister eternity. And you know how boring it is there. <laughs> come along, come along. Next. Yes, all right, hurry up. I don't want to go. I don't want to be born. I'm happy here. Let me go in her place, sir. My parents are old and they've been waiting so long. Certainly not, none of that. Get along, get along. There's no point refusing. No picking, no choosing. You're in the hands of fate. No stopping, no starting. It's instant departing. And all stations through to your fate. No after, beforeing. And no use imploring. 
you're in the hands of fate. You'll have to take it or leave it. You'll have to believe it. You're all in the hands of fate. There's no point refusing, no picking, no choosing. You're in the hands of fate. No sooner, no later. I'm not your creator. I'm just on the payroll of fate. Whatever life's not hidden, you must go when you're bitten and fit in your plans with fate. And if it's laughing or crying, there's no arguing. We're all in the hands of fate. Get to move on, you'll all be late. Come along, come along. All right, hurry up. Yes, 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 yes. I'm one missing. I'm one short. Oh, there you are. Say goodbye to your little sweetheart and come along. Please let me stay behind with her, or let me go with him. Impossible. But Mr. Time, I'll come too late. I'll be gone before she comes down. That's not my concern. Come along. No, no, please, no. Leave him with me. Leave. He's、him. going to live, not to die. I shall always love you. Give me a sign. Tell me how to find you. I'll be the saddest thing on earth. You'll know me by that. Get along. What are you doing here? It's my fault. I brought them here. You had no right. But the bluebird. Arguments increase your crime. No power on earth can conquer time. You'll never guess where we are. Don't you recognize that little cottage? Is it really our home? Yes, sleepyhead. But we can't go home yet. Why not? We haven't got the bluebird. The one in London memory turned black. Right, you did. I didn't catch the one in the forest, nor in the land of the future. Why did they die, or change color, or escape? Is it my fault, Light? Perhaps we were wrong to try and keep her in the cage. But we'll never catch her now. You will. You might. Have you ever caught a bluebird? Yes. Only when we give it wings. Freedom of the skies. True happiness. Our bluebird. Life teaches man to know, painful though it may be, has to be let go. The bluebird's not for caging, for the world to share. She has to have a rise and the freedom of the air. But once, and oh, so briefly. Time for all of us. The minutes have passed, and the hour is at hand when we must all go back into silence. Let me, in the name of all, not mine. I have a tongue of my own. In the name of all, allow me to take leave of these two distinguished children, whose exalted mission must now end. In bidding them farewell, with all the grief and all the fondness which a mutual esteem. You mean you're leaving us? Alas, needs must. But I shall always be there, in the bread pan, on the shelf, on the table. 
and me in the milk jar. Love it, gentle. Remember sometimes that my presence was sweet to you. Everybody going. Goodbye, dear dear, and me dear. Goodbye, my darlings. Think of me if you want to set fire to anything. Goodbye. I'll be very good, I promise. I'll learn to read and write and play football. I won't bark or make you angry. And I'll never steal anything from the kitchen. And I'll even kiss the cat if you want me to. Oh, Tylo. Please. Please. I beg you. I want to talk to you. I want to tell you everything. You've always talked to me, Tylo. It's just that I've never listened. From now on, I'll be able to understand. You'll go and lie down. Yes, good dog. Be quiet, Tylo. Goodbye, little master. I love you. Uh, oh. I love you both as much as you deserve. You should have been in bed long ago. Now it's my turn to say goodbye. No, like, please. You mustn't leave us. I must. I have no choice. Where will you go? You'll be all alone. Oh, don't cry, my dear little ones. I shan't go far away, ever. And remember, I am always in every spreading sunbeam. Always. I'm there when the dawn rises. Always, when every lamp is lit, even in your own thoughts, when they're good and bright. No, like, please, you mustn't leave us. Please, light, don't leave us. Please, light, light, light. Well, of course it's light. It's gone eight o'clock. Your father's already having his breakfast. Come on, easy boys, get up. Mommy? Yes? Mommy, it's you. Well, of course it's me. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> you silly. Put your socks on. Come on. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on. Mommy? Hmm? Mommy, it's really you. Well, of course it's me. Have I changed that much since last night? Have I got my nose on upside down or something? Oh, I'm so glad to be back. <laughs> Honestly, you children, put your drawers on. We had such wonderful adventures. We went everywhere. First, we went to great grandpa and grandma. She still got her rheumatics. And he still got his wooden leg. Then we went into a big dark palace. 
looking for the blooper. And then we went to the forest. Mm -hmm. Last night all by yourself. Oh, no. Tylo came, too. And Tylet. And bread and milk. And sugar. And fire and water. We saw you, too. You were different there. But I like you better as you are. <laughs> Light gave us the diamond. The magic diamond. Hold still, will you? Where, Where is, is it? Squirming around. Where is it? Stop making such a mess. Now, will you get ready? Breakfast is late already. Now, come on, you two. Perhaps Light took it with her. How beautiful everything is. How clean, how pretty. Good morning, fire. Good morning, water. She still talks, but I don't understand as well as I did. Good morning, bread. Don't be afraid. Good morning, sugar. Good morning, milk. Either you're ill or you're still asleep. Wake up, lad. You're the one who's still asleep. Isn't it wonderful? We're going to have another baby. What? what? Yes, in June. Tylo! Come here! Hello, Tylo. Talk to me. Talk to me. What's that? Wasn't that a marvelous fight we had in the forest last night? Do you remember? Let me see your tongue. Shall we call a doctor? What's the matter with you, Tiltel? I'm not sick. I'm just happy. Tiltel, look. Look at the dove. It's blue. Much bluer than it was last night. It's the bluebird. We went so far away, and he was here all the time. We have to take him to the little girl. He's not quite blue yet, but that'll come. And we must be quick, because some of them change color. You, you mean you're going to give her your turtle dove? She's ill. She needs him. Catch them. Later on. 